Sure, sure. Good morning and happy Sunday. How has the weekend been? I've, I've, I've been fine. I've been fine and I trust you've been fine as well. We are sharing truth this morning on the spiritual significance of Jesus' wounds. And this is coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, 24, 25. There about. <clears throat> You are warmly, warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. It's our package to inform as well as inspire you to the real knowledge of God, richer knowledge of God, powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Inspiration, the PLACE. <music> This is a daily gem devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are fed up with science knowledge and now you really desire revelation knowledge, you are on the right channel. Let us pray. Father God, we bless your name, worship you, magnify you, Lord God. It's another Sunday, a day we rejoice at, a day we are excited at all the time. Father God, as we uh, share time with your people this morning, breathe upon that which we do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Amen. All right, so, <clears throat> First Peter <clears throat> chapter 2 and um, 24, it says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you we are healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but are now returned to the shepherd and the overseer of your souls. Okay, the last time we, we, we got here, I said, oh, let's leave this one until the next time around, because it's something I want to spend time upon. That's place where it says, by whose stripes you we are healed. Okay, we well, are spoken about... Um, being hung on a tree and that the tree is not one beautiful looking um, cross there polished and all that it was one rough rugged uh, um, wood just made together you know and um, i know that we have said all that and the uh, meaning of it how that there he bore our sins and all that but you know in this in that whole thing in that same uh, breath he mentioned something about by whose stripes you were healed now what he referred to as stripes here were all those um, cuttings and bruises that happened, you know, to his body as he was being beaten. Now he got, um, you, you remember that Pilate asked him to go and, you know, uh, beat him or something like that and then wash his hands and finally before releasing him. So he was beaten a lot. They used to have this, um, um, shall I call it horse whip? Okay, and it had um, many prongs. It, it, it was a horse was held by somebody. He had seven or nine um, different um, um, strings coming from that main uh, body, and was quite long. And on each of of, of uh, those um, strands, he they had barbs, barbs, you know, the same thing we use for barbed wire. We had barbs lining them up like that so that when they whipped somebody, it went around the person's body because it, they were long, you know, those strands were quite long and then it was pulled. So when it got pulled, the barbs would tear up that person's body. So that was the way it was. And those were the things the Bible refers to as stripes here, all those lines and those cuttings and those bruises that happened to his body. But you see, the Bible says that it is by those stripes that we were healed in other words those stripes those wounds those cuttings those uh, um, bruises whatever they had a spiritual significance there are times when certain things are happening they look so natural but they have meanings in the spiritual um take for example if you read through ezekiel 23 thereabouts you're going to find out that you know extramarital sex has a spiritual meaning okay you know that's why you don't go there it has meaning it has it has spiritual meaning okay but that's not uh, that's not what we are looking at i'm just giving an example very quickly so also these stripes as those cuttings on the body of the lord jesus christ they had a spiritual meaning and that's why i said it is by those stripes that we were healed those cuttings on the body of jesus those wounds of the body of jesus they did something in the spirit realm they what they did was to procure our healing our spiritual healing the necessary spiritual power the necessary spiritual um 
Mm, shall I call it sap or the flow of of uh, of a balm, of the flow of an ointment, of a flow of some form of lotion coming from the spirit realm that can enter into the human body and procure a healing of the human body was done in the opening of that body by those stripes. I'm going to try to repeat myself all over again. <clears throat> By the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Now, this was referring to Isaiah chapter 53. It says, By whose stripes we are healed. Now, this one is putting it in past tense now. By these stripes, you were healed. In Isaiah 53, it was a prophecy. It, was, it had not yet happened. By, by 1 Peter chapter 2, it had happened. Jesus had gone through those things. And in going through those things, it had taken place. So, it had become past tense okay so by those times we we are healed i'm saying that in the cutting of the body of jesus christ something happened in the spirit realm by which um some form of uh, uh some form of uh, um power spiritual energy some resource from the spirit realm was made available to flow some form of fountain some form of maybe injection or whatever flowed from the spirit realm into the human realms here to bring about healing for anybody who would understand this thing and believe it and exercise his faith in it and that whole thing i just described will enter into um, uh, uh, a physiological system or to into a human body and spiritually bring about a healing in that human body you see there is spiritual that the spiritual power can have effect on the on the physical body we have so many examples of it in the bible you remember on one location uh, when this um, this issue about the rain, Elijah, you know, and then there's a sound of abundance of rain. He said, King, ride, ride, ride. And the king was riding in his chariot. And then Elijah and his uh, and his boy, they ran and they outran the king. Because there was spiritual power upon their body, they outran a horses and chariots. You find things like that, okay? It happens. You remember the story of one other man who got really, really uh, demon infested and they used to chain him and he said he would pluck off the chains we just pluck off the chains because his spiritual power making him to pluck off what normally nobody can just you know pluck, you know pluck off like that yeah there's spiritual power in the physical body in the physiological system now i'm saying that these stripes of jesus christ these tears and these uh, these cuts on his body and all those things they have a spiritual impact it means something in the spirit realm in the spirit realm they, they procured they procured in the spirit realm some spiritual uh, injection some spiritual uh, um, um, flow of a fluid from a nozzle of some sort you know some spiritual thing coming down into the physical body to bring about a healing in the physical body for those who believe it for those who have this revelation who have caught it and who understand that this is what it did in the spirit realm hallelujah you see when we get sick what happens is that the normal integrity of the body becomes compromised either by some organism or by some damage or by whatever the normal integrity gets compromised so also that was what happened to jesus when he was whipped that way the normal integrity of his body got compromised that's what happened now in that thing that happened that time in upon the earth here because jesus happened to be the lamb of god the, the paschal lamb the lamb of god set for um um, to emancipate man to set man free because he was that thing had a meaning in the spirit realm such that that um, uh, compromise upon his body um, brought about a solution to compromises about the I mean upon the integrity of our own bodies as well bringing a solution bringing positiveness bringing healing praise God. That is why by his stripes we got healed. I pray that somebody will catch that revelation and that when you pray, you pray with that picture at the back of your mind. That the same way the integrity of your system has been compromised bringing about this uh, 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 discomfort and disease the same way the the the, comp the the integrity of jesus's body was compromised so that you can have a healing on account of his own bodily compromise praise the lord okay that's why it's by his stripes you were healed of course you know ransom saying that you are like sheep going astray but you have now returned to the shepherd and bishop of your soul the bishop and overseer you know one and the same thing okay 
that's just a statement of fact. We are like sheep going astray, but we are returned to Jesus, the bishop of our souls. But my focus this morning is upon this healing thing, that somebody may catch that revelation. Like each time you pray about your, your health for spiritual healing, you may form that picture and that understanding at the back of your mind and thereby obtain a result. Thank you very much uh, for sharing um, this Sunday morning. I really appreciate your time and I pray that as you go to church, you go out there and you'll be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You would not come out the same person you entered into church this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you so very, very much. Have a wonderful week ahead.